Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm John Swicky. And today we're going to look at Perplexity AI. We're just going to kind of take a tour of the app, see kind of where it could fit into our workflow and play around with some new features. So essentially Perplexity is basically kind of like a search engine meets chat GPT, but it does some, some kind of interesting things that I think are worth kind of playing around with. So this is the homepage when you log in, um, well, I logged in, I made an account. I don't think you can use it for free, but I did log in and you get kind of this popular section here. So some news of the day, it looks like we will pick a soft story and click on some soccer news. So you can see, it looks like they're using GPT-4 to do some summarizations and they source two articles down here, which is kind of nice to see the sources. And this is what, this is another little feature that I think kind of stuck out to me was this kind of related thing. So you can kind of go a little bit deeper on a topic. So let's see, what is the history of Manchester City in the Champions League? Let's see, you can see up here, it's a follow-up to my question. So <laughs> And you can kind of start to do some interesting research this way. So let's go back and let's make a new thread. So let's see if we can start doing something. All right, we'll stick to the all. We'll stick to the all section here. So let's ask a little something home improvement here. So why is one? Interesting, the auto suggest thing is popping up. There's one room in my house so hot. Okay, so we got some, we kind of knew what I was typing. So I asked it why I have one room in my hot, hot, one room in my house so hot. And it's giving me some nice little answers here. I've got nine, nine item lists to go through and I got some ways to solve my problem. And I got some links down here. And let's see, how do I check if air vents are obstructed? So let's keep going a little deeper. And it kind of gives me an out to, and I can flag it as not accurate. I can go deeper here on, into the sources, which is nice. I can edit my query if I wanted to redo it. And I can also delete it and I can copy all this to a clipboard. So kind of nice, it also feels it's interesting because there's something about you almost feel like you almost feel like you want to ask it a question more than more than like a normal search engine. So let me let's let's think about let's go to another go to here. Vegan meal plan with two people and then only dinners. All right, so a classic question in most of my demos. Okay, so it just it linked out to some other people. You know, I think that's kind of cool. It didn't try to do it itself. It just said, hey, go check out these things. And let's click on this one for a whole week. Same kind of thing. Just link to some really cool resources. All right. Now let's check out, let's check out how they can search. So Wikipedia, so you have uh, a couple of different search filters, which I should go over. Academic papers, writing for generating uh, text and code, Wolf Alpha, YouTube, Reddit, and Wikipedia. So let's actually ask YouTube the same question as, why is one room in my house so hot? See if we actually get video resources. Okay, cool. So our sources are videos, and, and it looks like each corresponding point is related to a video. So that's pretty cool. Let's go back and I wanted to play around this Reddit one. So what are the best microphones for podcasts? So it'll be interesting to see it does kind of, so it kind of goes out to Reddit and summarizes some, some feeds. You can kind of go in and go a little deeper. It's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And I want to try, let's try a couple more. 
I got to admit, it's 4 a.m. while I'm recording this, and I, I don't know if I can come up with a good Wolf and Alfred, Alfred tempo, but maybe one day we'll get into that one. Let's see how they generate. Let's see if, how we can generate some text here. Write a tweet. Launching a YouTube channel. Let's see what that does. Okay, so it looks like you kind of... Let's see. Right, it's really launching a YouTube channel. Exciting news. Okay, so very much like ChatGPT there. And let's play around this Copilot. So Copilot, I believe, is a new feature for Perplexity. It's powered by GPT-4. And looks like with most things using GPT-4, there's some kind of usage caps on there. But uh, I don't know what it does. Let's see. I'm not seeing too much that explains what Copilot does. Let's see. I do want a new microphone, so let's go back to that. And let's find new microphone for podcasting. All right, so it is now trying to understand my question. Feels like it's got it. Searching the web. And it's getting. So it did its research, and now it's summarizing. And I have my related queries. I have kind of a combination. I've got YouTube videos in this one. I've got kind of seven different sources. It's kind of cool. The kind of the UI of this kind of walking you through in a kind of clean way. It's like, hey, I searched the web. I'm now, I took these 26 sources, which I think are the most valuable. And I am now going to kind of summarize those for you. So that was interesting. I'm sure this is what Perplexity does, which is probably GPT three and a half. All right, let's do another copilot. Let's leave it on. Yeah, let's leave it on all, and let's. I think this was in their demo, but I wanted to try it. New headphones, because I wanted to see. I saw something where they had some interesting. They ask you some follow-up questions, so I'm trying to trigger that. Okay, so kind of a similar thing to what we did before. And pretty good there. So, all right, I, I think I got my query wrong. So let's see. Help me buy a new microphone. Oh, wait. Let's turn Copilot back on. All right, so let's see if we get ourselves, let's get to it prompts us a little bit here. Ah, here we go. Let's see. I want to use it to podcast. I want to stream. And I want to keep it, keep it under $300 and be USB. All right. That was kind of cool. That was kind of cool. So now it looks like it filtered down some of their results. And it is coming up with, all right, so I kept in mind my budget. It's referencing my budget a lot in, in these results. And that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I do, I don't know. I saw that about those follow-up questions. I like that. All right, let's do. Help me buy new laptop. So let's see if they help me buy or help me is what kind of triggers some of those questions. Because I do like that it def definitely filtered through some of those results. Okay, cool. We got more questions here. So let's do a budget. Let's see. I want to go cheap. This is going to be general use. And smaller screen. Oh, smallest screen as possible. All right. Let's see what that generates for us. Oh, okay. So I was able to find some, some, some models for us, very small screens. So I took that into account. All right. So Copilot is interesting. Copilot is interesting. And all right. So before we walk away here, let's see if we can learn a little bit more about perplexity. It looks like we got some. People from OpenAI on the team, some NVIDIA people, some people from Google, okay. Meta Corbing, all right. 
Let's see, investors, open positions. All right, looks like they got a pro account now. Funny, that $20 a month price point seems to be what a lot of apps are using. And you get 300 co-pilots per day. That's pretty cool. But again, still feels expensive to me, but you know, I think, yeah, I think perplexity has got some really interesting stuff. You know, they've, they're, you know, they're pushing out new features. I've been playing around with their Android app. You know, I think what's interesting now is going to be how does, how does some of these apps kind of penetrate into, into a workflow for people and you know, how does it, you know, justify the, you know, the cost, the subscription fees. And what are some kind of key differentiators out of them? The, the thing about Perplexity is nice is, it, is it's a good UI. It's pretty easy to use. And it's a good experience. It's a good experience. But, you know, I do, you know, it'll be interesting to see how sticky it gets, right? I think the mobile apps are going to be good. Uh, I did find myself asking it some questions that I thought were pretty direct and using it over the last couple of weeks. But it's, you know, it's worth checking out. You can do a lot for free. And definitely play around with the co-pilot. I think there's something interesting there. Like asking those follow-up questions really felt like it was a, a tailored result for for me and my query. But uh, so let's kind of walk through perplexity. Uh, you know, if anybody gives it a go and, and has any more thoughts, let us know. And uh, thanks for taking a journey with me today. We appreciate it. And thank you, everybody.